Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to convert a decimal comma to a decimal point in Excel. So the reason for this is it was actually raised by a question that I had on a course recently, and it's all to do with that this guy had to import data from software from another European country. Uh, the likes of Germany, Austria, Switzerland, where they use a decimal comma as opposed to a decimal point, like we use, for example, in the UK and the US. So when that comes into our version of Excel, uh, based here in the UK, our Excel doesn't recognize it because that's not the format that we use. So it comes in as text, like the values I have in column A here. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is how we can use a formula in column B to convert that into a meaningful format using a decimal point and then put it into the currency of our choice. So starting from cell B2 here, I'm going to begin by using the substitute function. Really useful function this, that replaces an existing piece of text with a new piece of text. And I'm going to use it here to look at that first value just put a comma in there and replace I'm going to start by replacing the the kind of full stop which has been used in these values as the thousand separator I'm going to take that out I want to remove that so you see it's in the second and uh, last numbers there so I'm going to tell it to replace it with nothing just an empty string there two inverted commas with nothing in the middle or without anything in the middle and a closing bracket so that's one of our substitute functions. It's going to take out the full stop if one exists. So I'm trying to build this up iteratively for us here. So I'm now going to click back to the start and I'm going to build in another substitute function around the one I already have. So in this one asks for the text. I'm going to provide it with the substitute function we just wrote. But this one is going to search for the decimal comma and replace it with a decimal stop. <laughs> look at the mess that's beginning to look on the end there, <laughs> just comma off the comma. So notice that, that that one's just separating the questions there. This is looking for the decimal comma. Next question, decimal full stop, closing bracket. And then going back to the outside, the last function is going to be value, which will convert this text because it is currently stored as text. Once I've got it looking like a number with these substitute functions, I want to use value to actually convert it to a number. So if I run that and copy it down, I have the desired approach. You can immediately see that we now have a decimal point rather than a decimal comma. And if I now use my accounting button to put it into the appropriate format, which for me here will be sterling, and it now looks how we want it with the thousand separator comma and the decimal point. So that was using these functions, value and a couple of substitute functions. Um, I'll put that uh, formula in the description of this video. If you can check it out down the bottom there, you can then copy and paste that into your spreadsheets and work with it as your needs. Uh, I'll also pop a couple of other links in there. I'll put one of them to our formulas course, which if you're interested in boosting your skills, writing formulas like this, then I encourage you to sign up for. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you do find it useful. And uh, please check out some of the other tips and tricks at computergarga.com.